Elijah, we're back. We were talking about what caused this thing to blow out. What happens is if you let your tire run low on air, and I'm not talking about just a couple pounds low, but if you let it seriously get low on air, what happens is it splushes out down here at the bottom, and you have a bulging down here at the bottom. I don't know whether you'll see that. I'm going to give you a close-up in a minute. But the sidewalls are erect and nice and straight up here, but then when they get down the bottom, you're running 70 miles an hour every I don't know how fast that happens, but every so often, it's pretty quick. This tire wall is having to flex when it gets to the bottom, and that causes heat, and that heat breaks down these um, belts in the tire. Sooner or later, they start breaking, and then it just explodes or fails, and it happens all at once. It's very dangerous. So what you need is a tire gauge and to check your tires regularly because you can save gas mileage if you run them at the right right inflation rate and also you save the wear on your tires but the most important thing is you don't let it get down this low usually it's down this low because you're leaking the tire but uh, a visual check every morning before you get in the car will detect things like this but just if you fill your car handling a little funny this could be happening also, so it's time to pull over and check them out also. Don't let this happen to you. I'm going to show you a close-up. Here we go. Well, I think you know what I'm talking about, but you see that bulge there. You can tell how much it's going to flex when you're going down the highway, and that turns into that if you're not careful. So be careful, son. I want you to stay with us.